In tonight's Whatever Happened To segment, the little Cuban boy whose mother died bringing him to America and was later taken by force back to the communist nation with the help of the U.S. government. His name? Elian Gonzalez. He now is a grown man, but many will always remember him as a symbol and a frightened little boy in a famous picture. I covered it back then. Tonight, correspondent Steve Harrigan has the story from Miami. Thanksgiving 1999. Do you know this boy? Donato Dalrymple was fishing for Mahi Mahi in heavy surf three miles off the coast of Fort Lauderdale. I wasn't really thinking about fishing. I was over there looking at that inner tube, and as I seen my cousin pulling in the fish, I seen a hand move on that inner tube. The hand belonged to Elian Gonzalez, tied to an inner tube by his mother, perhaps her last act before perishing with 10 others trying to escape communist Cuba across the shark-infested Florida Straits. Elian's father, Juan Miguel Gonzalez, still in Cuba, asked for the boy back. But Miami relatives, including two great uncles, refused to send Elian back to the dictatorship his mother died trying to escape. It was the ultimate sacrifice of a mother who wanted a better future of freedom for her son. And so it was something that obviously tugged on everybody's heart. The custody battle electrified Cubans on both sides. In Miami's Little Havana, around-the-clock vigils were held around the Gonzalez family home. Now the stalemate involving this little boy could possibly throw new immigration talks into jeopardy. While in Havana, Cuba, Fidel Castro led daily protests demanding the boy's return to his father. The international drama dragged on for seven months bingo, bingo. until the Clinton administration sent immigration agents armed for battle into the home. The fisherman who saved the boy now had him snatched from his arms. Castro made quick use of his victory. Elian's father, a waiter, was named a member of Cuba's National Assembly. Elian joined the Young Communist Union and became an engineer at a state-run factory. 18 years later, Fidel is gone from the scene. The U.S. Embassy in Havana is open for business. But the Elian case put a spotlight on the bitterness that has divided Cuban families and remains to this day. Oh, I couldn't imagine something so beautiful could turn so ugly quick. Dal Rimple has never again seen the boy he saved and lost. In Miami, Steve Harrigan, Fox News.